Changchun, China, has recently witnessed a massive exodus, except for those who truly couldn't leave. Everyone who could has taken off in the last couple of days. Some drove away, others hopped on buses, and there were even those who caught trains. Oh my goodness, why are there so many people? Can someone please tell me why there are so many? And why are they all leaving? Because the bandits have started robbing people again. Recently, the term Changchun fines has repeatedly trended on China's search engines as local residents of Changchun share photos of the traffic tickets they've received. Receiving a traffic ticket is typically a routine matter. When a vehicle breaks traffic rules on the road, it is liable for the penalties associated with those infractions. So why are the residents of Changchun particularly upset about the recent fines? The situation dates back to after the National Day holiday. Following the holiday, Changchun initiated a new round of traffic management, with official videos being released covering these efforts. Starting from October 7th, the rectification efforts officially began focusing on four types of parking violations. Firstly, illegal parking on sidewalks and tactile paving. Secondly, unauthorized parking on green belt space. But thirdly, parking that blocks traffic, including the lanes for fire brigades and emergency vehicles. Fourthly, parking outside of designated space. Lastly, not parking according to indicated directions encroaching on multiple parking spaces or the vehicle body extending beyond the designated space. On October 9th, the Jilin Daily also published an article on the matter. It stated that the campaign, spearheaded by the Changchun Public Security Bureau, was a month-long comprehensive traffic management operation. The purpose was to fully create a safe, smooth, convenient, and efficient urban road traffic environment for citizens. However, what seems like a straightforward traffic management initiative has been dubbed by the people of Changchun as a disguised fine under the banner of traffic rectification. The skepticism mainly arises due to the unprecedented scale of the fines. Reportedly, in just a few days, the Changchun Traffic Department penalized 300,000 individuals, collecting fines totaling 120 million yuan. The hefty fines deterred many from driving, prompting a shift to public transportation like buses or the subway. It seems Changchun has entered the spring festival travel season early. My goodness, why are there so many people? Can someone tell me why? Why is it so crowded? The resources invested in this crackdown were also unparalleled. During the traffic management period, the traffic police brigade was deployed at maximum capacity. All officers, including auxiliary police and mid-ranking officials, were on duty, focusing on major intersections. The Special Police Brigade provided 200 officers with support from 98 urban police stations. Additionally, traffic volunteers from district governments and development zones reinforced major city streets and key intersections, jointly managing and discouraging all forms of traffic violations, thereby amplifying the strict enforcement atmosphere. Various district traffic police teams also established dedicated law enforcement squads to severely crack down on violations impeding smooth traffic. This road here, none are parking spaces. Now, Changchun doesn't allow parking here. Traffic police are issuing tickets to each car. Look at many have been issued. Previously, both sides of this area had parking spaces. They were newly paved last year and the parking spaces weren't marked yet. Now, traffic police have ticketed all the cars all on this road. In this government-led fines campaign, regardless of where you park, if the ground isn't marked as a parking spot, you're penalized. Each infraction results in a fine of 200 yuan. I just went to grab some food five minutes ago, and by the time I came out, there was a ticket on my car. How much is it gonna cost me? Probably 200 yuan, right? I tried negotiating with a traffic cop, but he completely ignored me. What frustrates people the most is that, during this crackdown, traffic police seem to be working around the clock just to hand out fines. At the Five Star International City, they're handing out fines even at 10 o'clock at night, causing public outrage. They gave out a ticket at 9.30 p.m. It's probably the first in all of Jilin City, maybe even the whole country. Are you serious? Coming every night at 9 p.m. to slap on fines? I'm just voicing out the general public's feelings here. You're in such a rush to collect fines, aren't you? 
These cops here are a bit more humane at choosing to hand out fines only around 9 or 10 p.m. Even though people are pretty pissed, what they don't know is that in other places, cops sneak around at 4 in the morning to hand out tickets. There's no choice. Local government's revenue now relies on these fines. If the cops work hard, they can hand out tickets to 10,000 cars in a single night. That's an easy 2 million yuan in one day. Due to the aggressive enforcement, parking spaces in Changchun have become scarce. Many are hesitant to drive to work, fearing they won't find a parking spot when they return home. A resident commented on the situation, This is Changchun now, in the morning. No one's driving, even during peak office hours. Yesterday, I parked in a proper parking spot. Today, I didn't want to go to work, afraid I'd lose the spot. Once someone gets a free spot, they cling to it. The moment you leave, you might get slapped with a 200 yuan fine. A day's wage isn't even enough to cover the fine. So I took the day off today. Why? Because I got lucky finding a spot yesterday. I weighed my options and thought, if I drive out and get fined 200 yuan and lose points on my license, it's more than a day's wage for me. So I decided it's just better to let my car sit tight in its spot. After all, this fine is more than my salary. Some netizens suggested that these fines might be an aggressive approach to supplement local finances. To increase the likelihood of infractions, traffic police introduced parking arrows. Failing to follow these arrows results in a 200 yuan fine. They ticketed me again for illegal parking. Did I park illegally? I didn't do anything wrong. Why are they ticking me? What's even more shocking for many is the disappearing parking spots. To impose more fines, traffic police reportedly erased pre-existing roadside parking spaces overnight. Many who had parked their cars properly the previous night woke up to find tickets on their windshields as the parking lines had vanished. Though officials claim that citizens can appeal these fines, the process becomes null if they can't prove their vehicle was parked before the lines were removed. As a result, many residents now record videos after parking to provide evidence in case of unjust fines. October 13, 2023. Documenting for proof and parked within the lines. The arrow is visible. Direction of the car matches the arrow and the lines at the rear are intact. Official data reveals that Changchun has lost nearly 24,000 free parking spots amidst the latest regulations. Even before the reduction, Changchun had the reputation of one of the cities in China with the most challenging traffic conditions. With the existing parking spaces already insufficient, the additional reduction has left numerous vehicles stranded, parked on streets only to be ticketed. Unable to bear these hefty fines, residents are resorting to parking outside the city or in remote areas, prompting a dramatic October exodus. Reports suggest that in July and August this year, the Changchun government implemented a car purchase subsidy policy to stimulate car consumption and boost economic growth, leading to a surge in vehicle purchases. However, after garnering profits from the citizens' purchases, the government failed to address the city's parking inadequacies. Inadequate urban planning has resulted in cluttered parking, with sidewalks and roadsides chock full of vehicles, disrupting traffic flow. While citizens are blamed for indiscriminate parking, parking spaces continue to dwindle. The eventual beneficiaries are, unsurprisingly, government-run parking facilities. Netizens argue that the fines imposed are not unwarranted speculations. In May, a news story went viral. A truck from Henan's Anyang County received 58 penalty notices within two years, amounting to 275,000 yuan, all citing overloading as the reason. However, truck drivers claimed that their weights were checked before departure and were within limits. Zhang Yuanping, Minister of the Policy and Regulation Department within the Comprehensive Administrative Law Enforcement Brigade of the Neihuang County Transportation Bureau in Henan, commented, After three years of the pandemic, our finances are strained. It's about strict law enforcement. We must impose necessary fines. There are many tales of governments issuing traffic police with fines quotas to boost financial revenues. Some online insiders reveal links between penalty quotas and traffic police performance, suggesting that some even tie year-end bonuses or salaries to these quotas. A Shanxi traffic policeman was officially suspended for claiming he had completed his duties while on the job and was fined three months at a time. 
Recognize my face. It's distinctive. I assure you won't receive any fines for a couple of months. It's about meeting quotas. Let's mutually understand each other and approach me if needed. The current approach of the Changchun government to extract money from its citizens suggests dire financial straits. Sun Guoxiang, associate professor at Taiwan's Nanhua University, analyzing China's fiscal health, commented, Several local governments are nearing bankruptcy. Initially, it was four provinces. Now, it's 12. This number will only rise. If all local debts collapse, it hints at a potential fiscal bankruptcy for the central government. Relying on fines as a quick financial remedy, many cash-strapped local governments might emulate this method, much like they did with pandemic prevention measures. However, a government relying solely on exploiting its citizens is doomed in the long run. Unless issues like corruption and misuse of fiscal funds are addressed, China's financial loopholes will persist. Over-reliance on extracting hard-earned money from the populace might ignite further civil unrest in the future.